Rick and Mandy, welcome to National Mattress. Let me show you around on how to buy a new mattress. So you might be wondering, why do I need a new mattress? Well, if your mattress is over 10 years old, you might need a new one. If you're getting horrible sleep on your current mattress, you might look into buying a new mattress. Or let's say you slept at a friend's house or a hotel and are getting way better sleep there, then perhaps you need a new mattress for your own home. So first thing to consider is your budget. If you're getting a new mattress for a guest room or for a child, you don't really have to go too crazy, get something too expensive. But if you're buying a mattress for yourself, you might wanna look into some higher end options since hey, it's gonna be yours and you're gonna be sleeping on it for a very long time. All right, let's decide on firmness. Mattresses usually come in four firmness levels. You've got softer plush, medium, firm, or extra firm. I would suggest lying down on all four firmness levels and lie down on it exactly how you sleep at night, whether it's on your side, your back or your stomach, and take your time to really decide which firmness suits you best. Once you've decided on your firmness level, then you can move on and try out different brands and different styles of mattresses. There's so many brands and companies to choose from and so many different styles, including traditional, Euro top, memory foam, hybrid, try them all. If you decide on a firm mattress, try out firm mattresses from other brands. Try out different styles that are firm, whether it's a Euro top, pillow top, traditional, Really try it all because you might be surprised that you prefer one brand over another or one style over another. So another common question I get asked is what's better, a traditional or a Euro top or pillow top mattress? Traditional mattresses are usually stiffer, more suitable for stomach and back sleepers. Pillow top and Euro top mattresses are good for all sleeping positions and they have this extra layer of padding that is especially great if you're a side sleeper because it gives your shoulders and your hips some extra cushion to dig in without creating pressure points. So the idea is try out as many mattresses as you can and take your time, don't rush the process. Once you decide on your new mattress, you're gonna have it for the next five to 10 years. So it's really important to take your time and really get the best one that feels best for you. And also look for a very good exchange or return policy. In this case, if you get your new mattress at home and after a few weeks you find out that it's not what you expected, it gives you peace of mind that you can always come in, return or exchange it and pick one out that's actually right for you. Well, thank you, Mark and Mandy. I hope I taught you guys a little bit about mattress shopping and see you next time. Thanks for watching The Mark and Mandy Show. Like our video by clicking below and subscribe to our YouTube channel.